Welcome to our channel, where we bring you the most amazing facts around the world. In this video, we bring you facts about Turkmenistan, which is said to be the world's weirdest dictatorship. The Hell's Gate A man-made disaster at the Darwaza Crater, also referred to as the Hell's Gate, is not a natural feature, but rather the outcome of a disastrous natural gas drilling operation. When Soviet scientists were digging for natural gas in 1970, their equipment inadvertently fell into a sinkhole, allowing natural gas to escape. The geologists made the decision to fire it in the anticipation that it would go out in a few days. Even though it happened more than 50 years ago, the fire hasn't been put out. Ashgabat in the Guinness Book of World Records. Ashgabat, the capital of Turkmenistan, was listed as having the greatest concentration of white marble structures in the Guinness Book of World Records in 2013. According to the records, the city has 543 white marble structures, totaling 45 million two, none of which are occupied. Prior to this accomplishment, it had the highest flagpole in the world, 133 meters, the biggest fountain complex, the biggest architectural picture, and the biggest Ferris wheel in an enclosed architectural design. The Nomadico Guts tribe, who settled in the area in the 7th century, is the ancestor of the Turkmen people. New months and weeks. Nayazov made the decision to rename each day of the week and each month after members of his family in the year 2002. As a result, January was renamed Turkmen Boshi, which means leader of the Turkmen, followed by Baydak, which is named after the Turkmen flag, and Kurban Sultan, which is named after his mother after his work. Rowan Armour, the month of September, was also given that name. Pelov. The staple diet Pelov is the staple diet of the people of Turkmenistan. It is made in compounds of rice with chunks of meat, carrot, and spices fried in a large panora cauldron. It is one of those dishes that you will see everywhere, from family picnics to wedding celebrations. National holiday for melons. The country produces sweet, juicy melons, for which it has even created a special day. It is a public holiday. Melons of Turkmenistan are famous all throughout the region. Every second Sunday in the month of August is celebrated as the National Melon Day by the people. No dirty cars in the country. One of the most bizarre laws from the incumbent president Gobangeli Berdi Mukamadov is that you cannot have black cars in the capital city Ashgabat. Also, dirty cars are not allowed. This is also why there are a number of car washing stations on the outskirts of the city, so that people can get their cars cleaned before entering the city. Carpets in Turkmenistan Carpets hold such prominence in Turkmenistan that there is a ministry of carpet in the government. There is also a national carpet museum in Ashgabat, with more than 1,000 carpets on display. Lay moreover, there is also a carpet on the national flag of Turkmenistan. Horses as important as carpets. Turkmenistan is right up there with North Korea, as far as weird dictatorships are concerned. The local horse breed of the Turkmenistan Akhaltik is also considered as one of the rarest and most beautiful in the world. In fact, taming of horses is one of the most respected jobs in the country. Kids in Turkmenistan get to horse training centers at a young age to become horse trainers. The president's obsession with horses. President Berdi Mukamdov is obsessed with the Kaltek horses. He loves them so much that his office has only one prominent motif all over the furniture. Yes, horses. The only neutral country in the world. The United Nations has declared Turkmenistan as the only nation in the world to be neutral. Turkmenistan's decision to remain neutral was approved by all 185 members in 1995, and to commemorate this, an olive branch was placed to the flag. Turkmenistan citizens have had access to free water, power, and gas since 1993. President Sapar Murani Yarzov, who created subsidies for the populace, brought about this law. It's interesting to note that each person receives 250 liters of water, 25 electricity, and 50 natural gas each month. President Berdi Mukamadov had a new subsidy in 2008, providing each person with 120 liters of fuel each month. Thank you for watching this amazing fact about Turkmenistan, the world's weirdest dictatorship. Join us next time for more fascinating stories from around the world. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.